Hello and welcome to my faculty here at the online interactive Master of Laws International Tax and Financial Services program hosted at Thomas Jefferson School of Law in San Diego, California. Today we're going to be covering a three-part series on how to use Megameeting for our teaching purposes. It's also valuable for you, the students, to watch these uh, Mega Meeting three-part series videos so that you can use Mega Meeting within your study groups and your case study presentation groups. Now, the first part of this series, how to use Mega Meeting, is going to cover just the equipment. That's microphone, headphones, and your camera. The second part will cover show my desktop, and the third part will show you how to use the uh, writing uh, facility, the writing utility here in Mega Meeting. With that, we'll get started with part one. Now, the first uh, point of order for using Megaming is to make sure that you have your microphone and headset. You do not want to use the microphone inside of your webcam unless you absolutely must. The reason? This microphone in a, in a webcam is so sensitive it'll pick up the air conditioning or if you're teaching from an airport terminal waiting for a flight, uh, like I do sometimes, it picks up all the announcements uh, for our flights. It picks up your secretary walking in a room and telling you things. Uh, it picks up your telephone ringing. So you want to make sure that you're using a microphone uh, that's close to your mouth and a headset. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're using a microphone that has the two plugs and a microphone usually is a pink and your headset is a green or a, in this case it's a tan cord. It doesn't matter whether you're using the traditional plug-ins or you're using a USB microphone. A USB is one of these um, endings that plugs into your laptop generally speaking. Um, as long as the headset you're using covers your ears so that you can hear but that it doesn't echo back into your microphone. If, it, if you use your laptop or your top speakers, if you have no choice, then use them. But in my case, what I do is I prefer to use this and to make sure that my uh, desktop or my laptop speakers are turned off. If not, I'll get an echo effect that sounds like a Jimi Hendrix guitar effect at Woodstock. Now, once you have your microphone plugged into your computer, you want to make sure that you click on, as you see in the lower right-hand part of my screen, the volume control button, click on your options and properties, and for recording purposes, which is the same thing as transmission of my voice using my microphone, I click the recording and OK button and I need to make sure that the microphone is selected. Otherwise, probably my voice will not be heard across the internet. Secondly, I need to, inside of the Mega Meeting Classroom, right click, choose settings, that's right click on my mouse, choose settings and click on the picture of the microphone. If my microphone is not chosen, I need to scroll down and choose the right one. In my case, I have two choices. My webcam microphone or my headset microphone, Sigmatil Audio 1. I choose Sigmatil Audio 1 and I close. The second part, the second point of order is our, is our webcam. Now, I use a $50 webcam. I use a Logitech. Phil Gay, he chooses a $25 webcam. He bought it at Best Buy. Marshall Langer uses the webcam built into his Macintosh laptop. It doesn't matter what webcam you're using. But when you're in the Mega Meeting classroom, again, you must right click on your mouse, choose your settings, and choose the picture of the webcam, and make sure that your webcam shows up in the menu bar. If it doesn't, click on the menu bar and find your webcam. If you don't see your webcam, 
probably the computer has not loaded the driver for your webcam and you need to disconnect from the mega meeting plug in or unplug your webcam and replug it in let your computer recognize it then come back in your mega meeting classroom again click on settings and find your webcam if all that fails then before you do if you're going to test this out before you actually lecture you'll go to your www.megameeting.com and you'll click on the live demo and set up an appointment in the next day or the same day with Mega Meeting and you can test out your equipment with them directly. Okay, that's the end of our part one. Now you should move on in YouTube to part two of this three-part series of lectures. Thank you for your time.